Jim Gaffigan. He's a funny fucking flab, flobby man. Yeah, he's he's a ama- he's the best. He's great. You know why? Because his basically the thesis of all of his material is, you know, the first world America. We're fat. We're lazy. But it's great. Yeah. <laughs> like that's ultimately like, like that the, is a cool I can, thesis. I can respect that. <clears throat> yeah. It's like ninety percent deprecation about you know being fat and lazy. <laughs> But then, like, there's the 10% moment where he, like, points out, like, what it's like to not have that and how it's basically being, you're, yeah. he's like, who are the, so, like, he talks about, like, say, chocolate and how it makes you fat. It's like, now, who's the people who don't like chocolate? What are they called? Al-Qaeda, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, at some, I mean, the, 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 the idea of a fat guy a fat person used to be like a symbol of respect and and rich and yeah that's right now we're all we're all we all live we're in all rich life royalty style. now all the peasants can be fat but yeah, yeah even if you live in a trailer park you can still have yeah. that opulent now, belly now it's actually almost the opposite because only the wealthy can afford like personal trainers and dietitians and shit to yeah. actually not oh, be here fat it is. here's the coliseum you can't the... see it because of the draw distance but it's the coolest. It is the coolest. You don't need the draw because you can. The draw distance helps you imagine it to be even more grand <laughs> and oh, huge than There's it is. Oh, fucking... this fucker! Oh yeah, this was annoying. Get him! Like, you have constant shootouts with these guys on the on these like really open places. Yeah, and it's just kind of boring. And he can't <clears throat> just die. Just okay. He's disappeared. He's teleported away. I'm sure of it. There we go. Oh, <clears throat> music. Mm. Yeah, you can't get me. Frame where it gets pretty choppy around here. You I can't think. kill me. You're uh. a mere animal. <laughs> and I am a man woman, the strongest of all womans. I like how the pl- the PlayStation One is like it's so low resolution that the repeated textures they don't get like annoying uh, uh, like in other games. Like yeah. if, you, if you've ever like. Seen like um a, like a shitty made game on a PC, like where they they repeat the textures over and over again. Um, yeah. It's really easy to tell where the the boundaries are and where it loops. I mean, on here you can kind of see it on the ground there. Well, it's just. But it's like it's it's less annoying because everything looks. Like, Something know. about PS1 era graphics is such a sweet spot because it looks pretty realistic while at the same time there's plenty of room for your imagination. And they can never hit that sweet spot again. Yeah, I hope low poly games start to take off, like Diary of a Spaceboard. I think they will, that because game. I mean, we've had a for like a while now. Sprite-based games have come back in a big way. Yeah, I'm I'm really waiting for people to <clears throat> to finally realize that PlayStation One was actually cool, because everyone keeps to like saying. It's like it hasn't aged well. The, yeah, the everyone's always look terrible. And it's like yeah. it's not bad though. Well, it's, it's all about like the cool. perception. It's, it's like there was a lot of snobbishness about like this era's graphics. Right, but, but I, I think, think they're great. I think it's more of just like um like a perception thing. Like I myself, I think wasn't able to like really get into this era of graphics. I mean, like I had I had a PS One, uh, and I just like I also felt like oh man, those look really dated. But then there becomes like a point at which you can look at it like for what it is rather than what you wanted it to be. Like yeah. obviously PS1, if the PS1 could have had the graphics of the PS3, it would have, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. it was trying to look as realistic as possible. So therefore when the PS2 comes out, it looks better in that regard. I mean, you can't help but look at the, the, the original as inferior. You need time to, get, to give it well, appreciation. The way, you know? I, the way I would um, like a metaphor it is a... Uh, <laughs> I can't think of a word. Um, I can't quite think of a metaphor. Eh? Yeah, um, but like, um, like how eight bit music was like yeah. a limitation thing. Like that, that whole beepy boopy sort of type of music would never have existed. That's had yeah, they had an yeah. alternative. Like they had to do it like that, and because of that, now <clears> it's like a it's a whole yeah. it's a whole thing. People like that as an as a sound. Yeah, yeah, I feel like everything that's like a like a reflection on a previous era basically has that. Like vaporwave, like it's based on a bunch of like. I, I didn't have a whole lot of enthusiasm for that kind of Windows 95 aesthetic when it was happening. I mean, okay, Windows 95, yes. But, like, all those, like, 80s commercials that Vaporwave samples from, those yeah. are always, like, boring to watch. 
But then when they like recontextualized it and slowed Man, it down, that like that cyberpunk '80s aesthetic with like the laser grids and the and the big neon yeah. letters that's yeah. like been coming back in such a huge way. I hope it never goes away again. It's my favorite thing to look at. I wish everything in the world was that aesthetic. It's cool. Did you guys see that picture Ben tweeted of the vapor type EV evolution? Oh, I did it's not. Yeah, ever. it looks like a Porygon, <clears throat> but it's an EV. Okay, yeah. I just I better I better, I better just go. This is pretty Where hard to see. It's so black, dark black. I'm in the danger zone. Yeah. Come at me, little. You know, guys. I actually had a. I constantly wonder in these games. Oh, uh, here he is. Because of the graphics and the draw distance. It, it, I wonder if, like, you're in a place that's underground, or if you're somewhere that is not underground. Just with the draw distance so far, but... Yeah. You're, you're probably that. underground, yeah. I think, yeah. You know, I had a similar evolution with the whole, like, nostalgia, looking back on it thing, with the with the design, like, the actual console Fuck. design of the Another original one. Xbox. Like, because someone asked me... A while back, like, hey, what do you like? What do you think about the original Xbox? I'm like, oh, it's like it's kitsch, you know. It makes me think of 2003. Yeah. But I realized that was the first moment at which I felt that way. I remember back when it was new. I'm like, that thing looks really weird and, and dumb, you know. Ooh, 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 baby. But now Spiky it makes it, now when I look at it, I just think I just like think Nickelback when I look at it. You know, it just looks <laughs> like <laughs> it makes me go. This is how you remind me of what I really am. Just that whole Xbox 2003 feeling. I used to like that song. It was cool. Yeah, everyone liked it when it came out. You know, I, didn't. I have a theory that everybody secretly likes Nickelback. Because everybody likes to shit on it because it's the cool thing to shit on. <clears throat> but obviously someone's buying their albums, and I think that someone is everyone. <laughs> yeah, I, don't thing... re I don't remember buying any of their albums, but well, I must have me, at some point. Like, I, I mean, I grew up, I mean, like, the, I didn't even, like, know, like, anything about, like, the context of music. And I and I heard those kinds of songs, and I just thought that's what rock was. Like, if you asked me what is rock, I would have said that. Yeah. I didn't really have any, like, context to, like, what to compare it to. And I wasn't into it at all. I just thought I didn't like rock music. Well, like, what even is it to hate a song? Because, like, I can say that well, I... I don't hate it. It's just I, I can boring. say that I hate every Nickelback song, but I also know all the words to all of them. Every <laughs> time is... they come on the radio, I think, yeah, fine. Is that really <laughs> hatred? Or is it just quiet acceptance, like someone who is getting raped? Look at this photograph! Just let it happen. Nickelback was never really a thing that I grew up with, so um, it was it was mostly like I heard about it on the internet and everybody hated it. Yeah. And I decided to have a look, you know, to see. Why did he and, even, like? And I just I realized that I was it was the first time that I realized that <clears throat> the internet is generally wrong. <laughs> when yeah. everybody hates Nickelback, but everybody loves Chuck Norris. When Chuck Norris is fucking shit. Yeah, that's true. The Chuck Norris thing is ten thousand times dumber than that, that Nickelback was like ever of, that was. That was like the early era of like memes that got old or something. But you know, like I didn't even like know Nickelback as a thing. I just heard a bunch of their songs. Like I heard a bunch of their songs. Didn't have it. I, as far as I know, they could have each been a different band. I couldn't tell. And I'd heard the name Nickelback, but I didn't know what it meant. And then one day, it was like probably like. 2011, probably, when I when I saw a video that mentioned Nickelback and played some of their songs. I'm like, oh my god, that's where all those songs came from? Yeah. It's like if I found out the name of the guy who does all the infomercial voices, you know? Like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, it's been one thing this whole time? I had no idea. Billy Mays, that great man. He died. Billy Mays was the coolest. You know, I saw an interview with Billy Mays' son about, like, the last years of his life. And his son, like, revealed that he was, like, always in pain. But he just loved hawking products so much <laughs> that he fought through the pain to get on his knees and show you how the fucking sh sham wild worked on the floor. <laughs> yeah. And and I guess, like, he legitimately had all the products he sold in his house and used them daily. Wow, he made shilling of art for him. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that man, <laughs> he lived for the shill. <laughs> and we praise his name to this day. When you live for the shill, you die for the shill. <laughs> Come back with your shill or on it. 